Imran, thank you so much uh, for your time on the Buck Stops here. Pleasure as always to have you on the program. Now, of course, you don't need me to tell you the things that Salman Rushdie said about you at the India Today conclave, a conclave from which you dropped out because he was there. Now, he compared you with Gaddafi. He said that your decision represented a kind of intolerance. He called you a dictator in waiting. Are you stung by these comments? You know, uh, Barkat, there are people whose views I respect, and maybe I would uh, worry about what they say to me, about me. But Salman Rushdie is someone I couldn't g care what he says. <clears throat> because Barkat, he's someone who has caused so much pain to over a billion of people in this, in this universe. Someone who is, um, you know, who knew the impact of what he did. You see, I can understand Westerners. In the West, people don't understand how we treat our prophet, peace be upon him, how we treat our holy book, the Quran, how we treat religion in the West because they have a completely different attitude to religion. But Muslims live, live their religion. And the way they react to especially the our prophet, peace be upon him, and the, and the holy Quran, uh, Salman Rushdie would have known about it because he's someone who grew up in a Muslim household. So therefore, the fact that, uh, you know, he wrote the book and caused so much pain, there was no way I was ever going to be on the same platform as him. And so uh, whatever remarks he made about me, I mean, some of them are extremely petty. I, I, I sort of whatever little I thought maybe this guy's got a, a brain and he's supposed to be an intellectual, it just reflected on the mindset of a, of a small man. But frankly, it doesn't matter to me what he says. The fact is I was never going to share a platform with him.